Hey guys, Mr. Zigner here. We're going to be looking at translations. Uh, it's uh, translation is one of a few different types of transformations, and a transformation actually changes a figure into another figure. Um, sometimes we change sizes. Uh, sometimes we turn, we flip, we slide. So there's a, there's a few different ones. But uh, the new figure that you create after that transformation is called the image. Now, a translation is usually the first one you study. It's a transformation in which the figure slides. When you were younger, your teacher might have said uh, slides, flips, and turns. So you might remember those terms. So the translation is the slide. Okay, now the, on, in a slide, you do not turn it. You do not flip it over. You do not change sizes. Every point of the figure moves the same distance in the same direction. So straight over here to the right or down or up and left. So whatever you're going to do, all the points have to of the shape, like these four vertices here, have to move in the same di direction and in the same distance. Okay. So is the blue figure a translation of the red figure? Well, let's see. So is the blue one a translation of the red? So here it looks like they slid this one down this way, but it looks like it's the same size. It doesn't look like it was flipped over. Um, doesn't look like it was rotated. So yeah, the red figure does slide to form the blue figure. So that is a proper translation. Okay. Uh, is this one, is this blue one a translation of the red one? Well, it's the same size and shape, but you can see it was turned. So you can't do turns for a translation. Uh, the new blue rectangle would have to be in the same orientation, sort of a, a vertical looking thing. That wasn't a very good rectangle, but I hope you see what I'm talking about. That it cannot be turned. In this case, it looks like it was turned 90 degrees. Okay, this is a great slide to pause and really read through carefully. I'm going to quickly zip through it though, but feel free to pause and, and read more carefully. This is a great slide. So to translate on the coordinate plane, here's your coordinate plane, your X and your Y axis. <clears throat> To translate a figure A units horizontally, okay, horizontal, that's the horizon, that's your x-axis. So in other words, to move it left or right, you would add A to the x-coordinate. So come down here, here's what I mean. So if the original ordered pair is x, y, to get the new x, you would add A. Now what is A? It's how far to the right or to the left you want to move it. Okay, and B units vertically. So you would add B to the Y coordinates because the Y goes up and down. So if you want to move it up, you're going to add a positive number. And if you want to move it down, you're going to add a negative number. So down here, you can see they add a B value, whatever that is, to the Y coordinate. So when you add a positive or negative number to the X, that's going to move it left or right. If you add a positive or negative number to the Y coordinate, that's going to move it up or down. Hopefully you're seeing the difference. Big deal here is that the original figure and the image have to end up being the same size. Now, when you create that new shape, uh, the new one is called prime. Uh, like here's the original triangle, this red one, it was called triangle ABC. But look when they made the new one, do you see the apostrophes? Now it's called ABC prime. That just differentiates it from the original to the image. All right, so let's keep moving. All right, so here's our original ABC. Here's our ABC prime. Now, what do they have us doing? Translate it three units to the right and three units down. Now, this is not my favorite way of doing it. I'm going to show you a separate way over here, but let's do what they're doing right here for a change. Uh, well, for the first example, so three to the right and three down. So, like, let's take this point B. So, one, two, three to the right and three units down, one, two, three. Okay, so there we go. There's the new B prime. I kind of scribbled over top of it. Let me erase that. So three to the right and three down, and you have your new B prime where uh, it's the image of the original B. And then you move the other two points in the same direction. So three to the right, three down, three to the right, three down. Okay, now if you don't have graph paper, how do you figure that out? Well, here's, here's what I would prefer to do instead of trying to like count over the right number of spaces. <clears throat> when it's three down, I'm sorry, three to the right, three to the right. Okay, when you're moving to the right on the graph, that's that's positive. Whenever you move to the right, that's positive. When you move to the left, that's negative. So I like to think of this as two to the right, <clears throat> I'm adding three. Down, three units down. Well, moving up is positive, and you can see the positive numbers on the y-axis here. And whenever they want me to move down, 
That's the negative number. See the negative numbers down here on the y-axis? So that's a nice way to remember it. If they want to move up, it's positive. If they want to move down, that's negative. Okay, so I want to add a negative, what was this, 3? Add negative 3. Okay, well, 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, we have our new ordered pair we're making. And 5 plus negative 3. Now, you should know how to add and subtract negative and positive numbers by now, but you should also realize that 5 plus negative 3 is the same thing as 5 minus 3 which is 2. And here, if you work out 5 plus negative 3, you're also going to get 2. There we go. So it looks like B prime should be at 5, 2. Well, let's check the picture and see if that's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Yep. There we go. B prime is indeed at 5, 2, whether you come over and down from the original point, or if you do this little adding and subtracting thing over here and get the new ordered pair, which is my favorite way of doing it. I'm always afraid I'm going to make a mistake counting how far over and how far down I have to move. Here's another great slide to pause and really take it in and read from bottom to top to bottom and let this soak in and make sure you understand how they're moving the square from here, this ABCD, to the left and up here to ABCD prime. I'll talk about it a little bit, though. So uh, they say, hey, ABCD is at these ordered pairs. Draw a figure. So here we, there's the original figure and its image. Remember, the image is the prime one afterwards. After a translation, four units left and six units up. So, I mean, you could sit here and go, let's see, uh, uh, from B to B prime. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. I, again, I don't really care for that way, but you can see here what they're doing. This is my way that I like to do it. So we were talking about the Bs. So let me come to the Bs. So first to move it four to the left, that's three plus negative four, which is also the same thing as three minus four. And here, uh, let's see, three negative two. So is that negative two? And to move it up six, you would have to add six. Oops, I'm right here. Add six to the negative two. Well, 3 minus 4, well, that's negative 1. And two, negative 2 plus 6, well, that's 4. So is the new B prime at negative 1, 4? Well, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. So again, I would much prefer to add or subtract to the original ordered pair to get the new ordered pair, um, especially if I don't have any graph paper. All right. Uh, looks like my picture is in the way of these. So let me scoot down here. All right, is the blue figure a translation of the red figure? So from here to here, is that a proper translation? Remember what we talked about earlier? You can't turn it. You can't change the size. Um, you can't flip it over. Yeah, this one looks good. They just slid all three of those points of the triangle just a little to the left and up a little bit. Okay, what about five? From red to blue, is that an okay translation? What do you think? This is a no. Do you see why? It's flipped over. So they either reflected it, sort of like flip this over this way and then slid it over. Or maybe they rotated it. Maybe that's the way you're viewing it and then slid it down. But either way, yeah, a translation, there's no flipping or turning or anything like that. So that's definitely a no. It's not a straight up slide. That's what a translation is. What about from this red to blue right here? Well, again, do you see it? That's, a, that's like a reflection. If I put a mirror right here, that would be reflected. So that's they're the same size and the same shape, but that is flipped over. So this is another no. What about this red to this blue? <clears throat> Looks like the same size. I don't see any turns. So I'm going to go with yes. Same size and shape, just slid down. Nothing's turned, nothing's flipped. And what about from this red to this blue? Again, same size, same shape. Doesn't look like it's turned. That's another yes. That's a good translation. And what about nine? Is that a good translation? Doesn't look like they turned it. Um, so what's is, is there anything wrong with this one? Do you see it? Right. This is a no. It's the wrong size. They did change the size. This is a smaller square. This is a bigger one. You, you can't do that. That's actually called a dilation. Get into that in a different video. But um, as far as a translation, you'd have to call that one a no. All right. Moving on. Okay, so we're translating the triangle four to the right and three down. Now, I may not do all these points just to keep the video short, but you'd want to do the same thing to all three points of uh, JKL here. Uh, maybe I'll at least focus on J. 
All right, so what's our direction? First, I'll do it the way they want me to. I'll just sort of draw on the graph paper. Then I'll do it the way I really want to do it. So here we go. Four to the right. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm not done yet. Four to the right and then three down. One, two, three. Okay, so it looks like J prime goes right there. All right, so here's the way I like to do it, though. First, I need to know that ordered pair. Where is J right now? Well, J is at negative 1, 1, 2, 3. Negative 1, 3. Okay, and then what did they say to do to it? Well, they said 4 to the right, and now to the right, that's moving towards the positives. So I want to add 4 to my X coordinate. And then they said 3 down. Now down, you can see these are negative numbers on the Y axis, up is positive numbers. So we're going to be adding negative numbers here. So we're going to add a negative, how far down? Three. Adding a negative three. Okay, so what do we end up with? Well, J prime ends up being, let's see, negative one plus four. Again, you should know how to add your positive and negatives by now. <clears throat> negative one plus four should be, do you have it? Three. And three plus negative three, well, they cancel each other out. So three plus negative three is zero. Now, is J prime actually at three zero? Yes, it is, look at that. That order pair is indeed three zero. So again, I really like this way, but if you have graph paper, sometimes you can just sort of like count over and down and put the new point where it belongs. But there's our ordered pair for J prime. Switch colors for this one. So how about, uh, let's just move point A. Okay, so A is currently at, oh, well, you know what? Let's do it the way the book wants me to first. Translate it two to the left. Okay, so one, two, and four down. One, two, three, four. Okay, looks like it ends up right on the x-axis, kind of like this one over here. All right, so this is my new A prime. And again, you'd have to do this with all the um, four vertices of this quadrilateral. We're just going to focus on the one for now. Uh, so now my way of doing this would be, again, I start with A's ordered pair. So that's negative one, four, negative one, four, right? One, two, three, four. All right. And now let's see, I'm going two to the left. Now left is, you see it, negative numbers. So I want to add a negative two. All right. And now we're going to go down. Now down is towards the negative numbers, not up. Up is positive. Down is negative. So we're going to add a negative four. All righty. So let's see what we end up with here. Well, negative one plus negative two, and that's negative three. <clears throat> and four plus negative four, well, that's zero. Looks like I'm writing a little crooked here. A prime, that's our new A prime. <clears throat> is that A prime right where it's supposed to be? Yep, negative three, zero. Yeah, so that worked out perfectly. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Okay, the vertices of a triangle are 0, 1, 1, negative 2, and negative 2, 1. Draw the figure and its image after the translation. As you can see, I have no graph paper here. So how about we just pick one of these ordered pairs and then come up with a new ordered pair? Let's see, which one should I use? How about, how about this one right here? We'll just work on L for all four of these. Okay, so L is currently at 0, 1. All right. You know what? That's pretty darn sloppy. Let me try that again. L is at 0, 1. All right. So if I move it one left and six up, all right, well, one left, that's minus, or I'm sorry, plus negative one, plus negative one, and six up, that's plus six. All right. So zero plus negative one, that would be negative one. One plus six, well, that would be seven. There we go. So there's its new ordered pair for L. Alrighty. So let's do another color for the next one. So 13, five units right. Oh, okay. So I'm, since I'm only moving it to the right, that's a horizontal movement. So I'm going to add five here, but I'm not going up or down. So I guess I'll just put plus zero here. I'm not going to go up. I'm not going to go down. Zero plus five is five. One plus nothing is, well, one. So there we go. That new ordered pair is five, one. Okay. And how many more colors do I have here? X plus two, Y plus three. Okay. So now they want us to add two to the X and add three to the Y. So let's see, it's zero and one. So this would be zero plus two and one plus three. Okay. Well, zero plus two is two. 
one plus three is four. There we go. So 14 would have been two. Sorry, my comma about a little messed up there. Two, four would be this one. Again, just take the ordered pair they give you, add two to the X, add three to the Y. And right here, X minus three, Y minus four. So again, with for L, that would have been zero minus three and one minus four. Well, zero take away three is negative three and one minus four. Now, how my students handle this would be add a line, change a sign. So really it's one plus negative four. And what's one plus negative four? Can you figure it out real quick? Negative three. So one plus negative four is negative three. So that's where that new L prime. So these are all L primes, L prime, L prime, L prime. Okay, there we go. Describe the translation of the point to its image. So from here to here. Um, okay, so let's see. So we're going from three. How do you get from three to one? Well, let's see. Uh, let's see now. How did they write it? They remember that's in parentheses right here, and you have an x plus something and a y plus something, or possibly minus. All right, let's use that format. So we have x, and how do you get to one? That would be minus two. So x minus two. And now, how do you get from negative two to zero? How do you get from negative two to zero? That would be the y plus two. There we go. So to get this new ordered pair, you'd have to subtract two from the x to get that one, and you'd have to add two to the y to get that one. All right, hopefully that made sense. Okay, how do we go from these? Uh, well, negative eight to negative three. Well, negative three is bigger than negative eight, so that would be x plus, uh, that would be five. Negative eight, negative eight plus five. Five's a little messed up there. Negative eight plus five is indeed negative three. Okay, and now y. I'm going to go from negative 4 all the way up to positive 5. Do you know what that would be? Well, it's obviously a plus because negative 4 is much smaller than 5. How do you get from negative 4 all the way to 5? Well, that would be plus 9. So negative 4 plus 9 is going to get you 5. And there we go. So there's describing the translation. Another way of saying this would be um, 2 to the left and uh, then up 2. That might be a more basic way of saying that one. And over here, this would be 5 to the right and then up nine. That's another way of saying it. That would be acceptable. Okay, describe the translation from the red to the blue. Okay, so we don't need to do all the points here. We just need to really look at and focus on one. So let's see here. It looks like from the red to the blue, we're going to the right and then we're going down. So how far to the right do we go? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six to the right, so we have X, plus six, let me double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six to the right. And then its corresponding point is right here. So how far down do we go? One, two, three. So Y minus three, there we go. So again, down is minus, to the right is plus. Um, going up would be plus and going to the left is uh, minus. So, but anytime you're going to the right or up, that's a plus. Anytime you're going down or left, that's a minus. All right, so over here, so we're going again going from the red to the blue. Let's just focus on one of the points. So it looks like we're going to go one, two, three, four, five to the left, five to the left, and down two, down two. Okay, going to the left is minus, going down again is also minus. So we would have x minus five and y minus two. There we go. So that's a good way of saying that. You could also over here say, hey, you're going to move six to the right and down three. Right here, you could say, oh, I'm moving five to the left and down two. So that's another way of describing that movement. Oh, well, that brings us to the end of our time for translations. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, I always say, please like, comment, subscribe before you head out and uh, take off. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.